Hello everyone. So previously we did the veining and I want to give you guys another look here at how the veining on my Evangeline kit looks like. And you just want to make sure you have super subtle veining, although we do have a bit of layers to go with or still more layers to paint on Evangeline. The veins are not going to lighten that that much. So perhaps maybe 30% of what you see, but not entirely. So you do want to make sure you keep a very subtle vein when you are applying your veins to any of your dolls. I also want to stress how important it is, you guys, to also apply veining around the skull of the baby or the back of the head. Um, it's looks very realistic and very nice when you do uh, rooted hair or very lightly painted hair because the veins poke through the strands of hair and it looks so nice and pretty you guys and very very realistic well now our next part is creasing and we are going to be using six colors for this Right now on the screen, you guys can only see four, but I will be bringing on the other two. I'm going to get started here with this Magenta 04. And the only thing that I have applied here is oil. And again, you guys, you want to make sure you're using that refined linseed oil and not just regular linseed oil because it will affect the color of your mix. So as you guys can see, I added a pretty good amount of magenta 04. Now I'm gonna move on to my burnt umber. And since my creasing color is more of a brownish, purplish, huey tones, I am gonna out add a good amount of that burnt umber. We will, we will also be adding flush 02, so that flush 02 is also gonna help us create and keep that brown color as our base color for this creasing mix that we are creating. One helpful tip that I'm gonna tell you for my tutorials is any color that I am dipping my brush into, there will be a name popping up. Like right now you can see burnt, the name Burnt Umber and that means I am working with Burnt Umber. I have just applied Burnt Umber. So, um, that will make it more easier so you guys know, hey, what's going on? What is she mixing? So I just applied burnt umber and I'm just mixing it in my mix. So here we go, you guys, that Flesh 02. And again, don't be afraid to use that color. You know, we can always add more of something else that we may need, but we're definitely gonna be using a good amount of that Flesh 02. Now we're going to be adding a little bit of that carbon black. We're not using it too much. I, I just use this to darken up my mix formula. Now we're going to add some of that purple 03. And I'm just adding this just to give it a little bit more of a purple hue. Remember, we're working with that magenta color, which has some purple tones in there. So I'm not putting that much purple into my mix, at least not right now. I could be later on, you know, cause I am applying, for example, I'm now applying burnt umber. So my purple tones 
kind of start falling more in the background, kind of disappearing, especially because burnt umber has that golden tone in it. So that neutralizes our purple. So I might be adding a little bit. I cannot remember since I'm doing this voiceover right now. But um, so yeah, a lot of it for me for creating this mix is I kind of know what I'm looking for. So I do use all these colors because these are the colors that um, will create, that I know will create that color that I'm looking for. So I kind of just play around a little bit of this, a little bit of that, till I get that color that I am looking for. And I really do hope that seeing how I play around between these colors will help you guys make your own creasing color at home for when you are making your next ethnic baby. And now I'm bringing on one of those colors here, guys, that wasn't on the screen before, and that is Genesis Red. And I'm just adding a little dab of red here just to keep that fresh color, that fresh tone human color. So I sometimes add a little bit of red onto my colors just because I really like that undertone look it gives it. So after that red, I added a little bit more purple and a little bit more black. And again, the purple is because the burnt umber must have neutralized those purple tones and I just wasn't too happy with the way it was looking. So here we are, you guys. This is the final look for my neutralizing, I mean, my creasing color. You don't need that much. I know I created a huge batch and that probably is just because of all the colors that I had to blend in order to create this one color. Um, I don't know how well oil will last. Like if you want to save this batch for a future use, maybe create ethnic babies at the same time. So a lot of babies get um, creased at the same time. But um, fortunately, a lot of this product did go to waste. So uh, I do try to use my colors as I go. Like I'm, I'm like, okay, I created this creasing color. It's so beautiful. You know what? I'm going to use this as a layer for this doll. So sometimes I do recycle my paints, so to speak. But, um, but yeah, so here I am, you guys, creasing. And um, you are working with the oil so things can blend really easily. Uh, my best advice is the less color on your brush, the better. I know that makes no sense, but the less color, here we go. Here you guys will see that I'm just dipping into the side of the container because really I am just, I want to pick up the paint. I don't want to pick up the oil. What the oil did is help me blend those colors together and it is giving me a thick consistency, which is very difficult to get with just um, thinner. So putting the linseed oil helps me maintain that oil consistency, if that makes any sense. And it's what I like, but I don't want to use actual oil on my doll. So I try to just pick up the pigment. Once you guys create your own mix, I, I think you guys will sort of understand what I mean. Um, oil is very difficult to blend, as you, as you guys can see right here. Um, if you don't wanna have such a difficult time with it and you wanna go ahead and just use thinner, that is perfectly fine. Just make sure that you use a very thick consistency, sort of like what you see in this video, and you'll have an easier time blending, but um, I really do love the smooth look of the oil. So 
there are pros and cons, but um, if you can work with the oil and you're patient, then I definitely recommend linseed oil for creasing. So I hope you guys can see here all of the little lines that I'm creasing on Evangeline's neck. When it comes to creasing, I do focus mostly on bigger creasing, creases I should say. There are some minor creases that I don't crease and most of them are around the hands and the feet. I know that was a very popular question like which creases do you know which to crease which ones you don't there are no rules it really is whatever you as an artist decide but definitely make sure you crease those big important creases because they will give depth to your baby and we really need that for these vinyl dolls to make them look as realistic as possible So here for the nostril shading, you guys notice that I put a little bit of paint in there with my brush. I sort of move the paint around and then with my blending brush and I made sure I clean the brush with a napkin so to remove any of oil because remember the brush is picking up oil as we are smoothing out our creases. But anyway, I use this brush to then I sort of spin it around inside the nostril if you guys notice and then I go ahead and I blend it out. Sometimes it takes me a little bit of time to get a nice blend because I tend to be super ultra crazy about the way it looks, 
but it's okay take your time make sure you you know get nice smooth creases don't go over the lines don't come outside of the lines of the creases you want to get as thin as a crease as possible as dark as a crease as possible but definitely blended you don't want any paint gathering you definitely want a smooth blended look and that is what your concealer brush is going to help you do If you do get a little bit of paint outside the creases, do not worry or panic. Simply grab a sponge and with the edge of the sponge, you can apply a little bit of thinner if it makes it easier to remove. But just like I'm doing in this video, you just go ahead and clean up that outside area and make sure you don't leave any streaks or any marks um, because that is common. That can happen and you definitely do not want to bake it. So. I recommend cleaning up like this and um, and yeah so that definitely helps and definitely do not need to panic if a little bit of creasing color spills out. Thank you. 
Now we're gonna move on to creasing or shading our ears and that is very easy to do. One of the tricks that I like to do is just grab a little bit of paint with my brush, so the end of the brush, apply it just a little bit on the edge of the ear and then with my blending brush, what I like to do is just drag that color everywhere else, blend it nicely, make sure I color as much as I can with the color that I applied inside the ear, like I am doing so. And you guys, look at how beautiful that ear looks. Oh my goodness. So you can keep it this color. I typically do two or three more layers down the road. I do bake between each layer inside of the ear, but um, yeah, it all depends on how dark or light you want that inside of the ear to look. Never forget, you guys, to crease the back of the ears. I think this is very common uh, for people to forget, but definitely use that creasing color to crease the backs of the ears. So unfortunately, I did crease the rest of the limbs off camera. Here I am showing you a little bit of footage of how I creased my baby. So we are now ready to blush Evangeline. For our blushing mix, I like to use the Magenta 06 and the Genesis Red. Make sure that you are using Magenta 06 and not Magenta 04 because you will create a darker blush color with the Magenta 04 and we do not want that. We want a very bright 
light blushing mix for baby Evangeline. And for this mix, you do not need to use linseed oil. There is only Mona Lisa Odorless Thinner inside of my blushing mix.